Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, I've been having some power issues. Um, you might see our oh, God, just fall off the walkway. Um, you might see our rocket is looking a bit more complete there. I'll go through that in a minute. I just want to go and check the power supply. Um, we have been running out of energy. I'm obviously drawing way more than I'm generating again. Uh, I've got quite a few. Oh, I did throw some coal in, and it looks like it's done the job. It has given me three full batteries there and a half battery there. That'll do for the moment. Um, yes, yeah, so what was I going on about? So you can see our rocket now, uh, very short and stubby. Uh, the tend to be in this game. Let's just get back up there. Um, I made a few changes since the last video. Um, and I'll run through them with you. So first thing you may have noticed is that our tower, which was here, has now been moved to here and the reason I've done that is because I have a lever here for extending and retracting the umbilicals or will do when I finish wiring all this in um, which I haven't done yet um, I also have a lever here which allows me to fuel the rocket um, or stop fueling it and that drives the pump that was here has now been moved up to here um, as you can see the pressure in there is 21.9 megapascals and there's nothing across to the rocket if I want to extend the umbilicals at the moment I've got to press the button so you go see it's a long umbilical now it's probably a bit too long I probably should have had it there but I've put it over here instead so I'll live with that for the moment I may move that at a later date but for now it's functional anyway let's um, let's just put the pressure down a bit what the pressure down to now 20.1 so there was a bit of pressure in there it's now been equalized to what's in the rocket so let me just retract that for now um, and get my angle grinder and let's remove these panels And let me run through what we've actually got in here now. So starting at the bottom, I changed the engine. I had the pressure-fed engine, which is fine. You know, it's, a, it's a good enough engine, but for beginners, you probably just want to go with the uh, pumped gas engine. So then you don't need to worry about pressurizing your tanks. With a pressure-fed engine, you've got to pressurize your tanks, which means you need a pump, a tank with the gas that you're pressurizing your fuel tanks with Jetpack, oh it's fine it's 2000 um, so yeah so I've switched it to the the pumped uh, gas engine it does a pumping for you that means there's only one connection now instead of two and the network connections in different place that's obviously my fuel in now so there's my two tanks still in there um, what's up next here we have the electrical connection so that's going through here into this transformer more on that in a moment um, and this is our um, shoot connection which is going up into this unit here this big grey unit here which is our storage unit and that stores our mined items uh, and they're just connected together with a bit of shoot there um, and then above that we have our mining unit so this does all the mining, the mineral mining, uh, and it passes the minerals down through that chute and storage. And attached to that is this head here, you can see the yellow head. Um, and obviously that's got its own power connection, as does the storage unit. Um, come around this way again. Now, one of the things you've got to do is you've got to scan the sky when you're in space, or scan space to find locations. Uh, to do that we've had to install a scanner which is this one here with a scanner head so that touches the scanner and then that just needs power and a network connection which it's got um, power low. I have on here the um, celestial scanner I don't believe I need that if I'm honest at this point so I'm going to take it out uh, wire cutters uh, 
and then hand drill again. Because any weight I can take out means my rocket will go further. Behind that is the avionics unit here. You do need that. That is what controls your rocket. Um, this one here, let's just gain the sake of energy and space. Take that out. So we've only got one connection. We don't need an additional connection there. Um, we've still got a big battery here. Um, and everything feeds up through the transformer into the battery. And then everything is run from the battery. Um, there's no direct connection to other network connection from a transformer. And I don't need a transformer. So all I really need is the power coming in from outside to my... Uh, it's fine, it's still got 189, no I do need to change that. Bear with me. Let's just move out of the way. I'll be flying around quite a bit. I've done a bit of the sh shoots, I don't know if I showed you that last time. Um, I've done a bit more on the shoots. Just occasionally printing a few off and going and laying them down. Um, um, jetpack. What was the other thing that was low? My Everything's low. Jetpack low, there we go. So you're good now. Um, let's just do do the whole shebang while we're here. Let's do all the food, water and everything. Um, as you can see, I've got no bread left. And for the sake of expediency, I'm not going to cook any now while, you're on, while I'm recording. So, I stop my health back up to 100, yes. And water. My water will only go up to 100 because this food isn't, the food I've just eaten isn't very good. There you go. Um, oxygen tank. Uh, that's 6,000, that's fine. Waste tank, let's just empty that. And it was state of the battery was the other thing, wasn't it? And I'm so dirty, my mood is decreasing, so I better get a wash. Um, oh, I had some bread there. You know what? Let's just quickly consume that. No, oh, it won't. No, okay. Well, you can stay in there and go off. Let's make some space in here quickly. Then I can uh, put all this in here. I'll put you in there. I do apologise if you hear noise in the background, it's our washing machine. It's uh, it's rattling a bit at the moment. Right. That mood will increase and that sad face will go. So close lock. Where were we? Let's get back to our rocket. So much quicker with a jetpack. No, sun, don't go down. Okay, um, what was I doing? Oh yes, I just removed the transformer. So I don't need a transformer in here. Um, it's just not required. It is a nice to have, not a must have. I don't know if you need it later on or not. Um, But to try and take weight out of this, I've got rid of it. Um, and I also don't need this. I don't know why I wired that back in there, actually. I don't need this. I'm not programming anything. I don't believe I need that. I believe all I need is the avionics unit, which is this here. This is useful if you have a pump on board and you need to pressurise your tanks or something like that. But I don't. Again, I don't need to do that, so... I think I'm going to remove it. Oh, my chip. Where's my chip? You don't lose a chip. Get rid of that. And then we can remove the associated cabling. So 
So battery's now worked in. So yeah, power comes in the battery. Output to the battery feeds the um, avionics unit. It also connected through to the um, scanner and the mining unit and the storage unit. The last thing I want to show you is this here, which is a rocket downlink. It's made from the same kit that makes the downlink down this this one. It's just roll the key, just roll the middle mouse to um, switch it. Uh, so that's and then you use the screwdriver to pick your rocket here. So I go in and I now hit uplink. You can see we've got rocket miner, which is good, storage, which is good battery which we need, uh, a couple of tanks which I'm going to function on them, gas, uh, pumped gas engine, avionics and scanner and a downlink. I think that's all you need. Um, so that is our rocket effectively built by the plating. And let's just put the painting back on. And I painted it red. Because we're on Mars, why wouldn't it be red? So three fuselages and a nose cone. Okay. Let me just plug all these back in quickly, just make sure we've got Extending or extending. Why aren't you extending? You're not on. You are on. Confused. Don't need you at the moment, but I don't understand why you're not turning on. Okay, what about you? You're going to be the same, aren't you? You're not going to turn on. Am I out of power again? This is what happened last time when I was short on power. Things randomly stopped working. No, I've got blue on my batteries, I can see it. Yeah, I've drawn 10 kilowatts. Wow. Uh, I think I need to tweak up the transformer. Which is up here. What are you set to? You're set to max bump. Okay, all these are off because the battery inside here is charging and pulling the voltage down, I think. If I retract that one, the others come on. There we go. So let's just turn all them on. Extend those two, sorry. Let's see what state the battery's in anyway. Now that we're actually connected up, we can go to the open UI. And our battery charge is 51%, that's why. Uh, that's what's drawing all the power, you see. So let's just go and extend that again, let it charge up. Not the best time to do it at night, but I've got little choice at the moment. There you go, let's let just charge. And all this is off currently. Come on, battery charge! I could do it by putting another... Um, oh no, I couldn't really, could I? Because the network... Ah, oh, I could do. I could have a separate line for the battery coming up. That's more cabling. I have another set of cabling and I have the network on that side which will give me my readouts and the second battery line hmm and you think about that one I might have to do it if it's constantly grounding down the rest of the power it's obviously pulling more than the five kilowatts this can cope with Is there a bigger transformer?
transformer medium. What it made from three transformer kits. I've got one, so I need two. Build two of these, then go and replace that small one with a medium. Right. Jump. No. Oh, oh yes, cleared it. Which I was going to clear that then. Right. Where's my screwdriver? My screwdriver, my drill. Medium. Right, which way is that facing? That way. So I want to turn it around. Not like that. That way. Was a power up there, down there, sorry. So I'm going to put that there and just quickly adjust these cables. I've got enough cabling, I think so. Right, yeah, plenty of cabling. I need two extra. Right, turn you on. What can I set you to? It was a 5,000, it wasn't pulling enough, so let's take it up to 7.5. See if that's doing it. Yeah, it seems to be enough. So, how are we doing for the battery power? 84%, 85%. This will be draining my station batteries though. And I do need more solar power. So let's um, stop being an idiot and get in there. Cool. Not the best use of my coal I know, but Oh, I've got uh, four blue bars. Let's just stick us in here for now. And head back over to our launch pad. Whoa! Here comes the day. Right, oh, cabling, that's what I want. I knew I wanted something. Cabling. Did I print any cabling? I cannot remember. No. I'll keep going for that window. I might have to move that door. I do have a habit of running for that window. Um, I'm trying to think of another way of doing this. I could just define these in the program. And do it that way. Rather than... Where's my laptop? Oh, there it is. Okay, as long as I know where it is, take it with me. There's it all, there's it all. So, configuration cartridge. I need to go my hand. You've got a flat battery.
What's the ID of this one? It is... 99596 9959 Define Define Um Fuel Um Okay Define Shoot, shoot, um, define power, um, confirm. Right, so we've done the fuel. Nine nine four three five. Confirm, and then the last one. Nine nine seven one three. Nine nine seven one three. And alias um lever D four. Right, I need to take the laptop with me. Right. So what do I need to do? So that's my main for my fuel. So I'll put a bit above there. Um, load R10 with um, lever setting um, save device fuel um open r10 save device shoot um open R10 save device power um open R10 so that's just reading this lever and writing that to the open status of these three umbilicals uh, so I just need to now turn my light back on quickly I need to define the Fuel pressure analyzer. Oh, I didn't export, did I? Export. Right. Now we need Umbeliever. What are you called? Um Umbilical sleever, there we go. Right, so if I this works and I flip that they should all extend way close it and they should retract so I don't need these here I was going to do it with just um, logic chips but I thought you know what I don't need them I don't need to do that 
so they can go away again. And it's quicker just to do it with that program for that. So right, so now we've got um, our umbilicals attached. We have all the bits in our rocket. Um, the programming for our rocket will um, fuel it up to 25 megapascals. I don't know why that's jumping up and down. Is that because it pumps on and off? Odd. Very odd. Why are you turning on and off? You weren't doing that before. Have I screwed up one of these settings on here? Oh, no, go away. Fuel pressure analyzer, fuel rocket fuel analyzer, that's right. Fuel pressure lever, rocket fuel pressure lever, LED, LED, so that's what's displaying on there. Oh, it's behaving. No, it's not still going up and down. Uh, fuel pump, that's a gas pump. A fuel pump lever, which is that one now, which I just opened, and umbilical. So that's all looks okay. I didn't alter the program. So R10, check the umbilical lever and open the umbilical lever, extend the umbilicals if um, that lever's down. Say so fuel pump on to zero. Ah, I wonder which because there before then. You know what? Let's. Just for sanity's sake. Export. Ah, oh, it's very strange. I might have to alter the program. At the moment I've got it, so it, it's obviously running through this to do the umbilicals. That's supposed to load the pressure, set the pressure reading to the LED, which it's doing, fuel pump lever setting, so if the fuel pump lever is down, um, break to so if it's less than one, so if it's zero, broke to the air, so if it's one, it's down, jumps to this one, if it's less than 250, it turns the fuel pump on, then jumps back to their yield off and then shouldn't switch off and do that. You shouldn't even notice it's switching off. So I'm not sure why that's doing it like that. But I may have to alter the code slightly. Anyway, the point is we have fuel going to our ship. I'll see if it open for now, because I'm still pumping the fuel through. Um How much fuel do we have in 40 kilopascals? Wow, that means some more tanks must be low. 50, yeah, I said don't go below 50. I know you one there, so that one's gone to 50, so uh, we're not creating any fuel at the moment, I don't think. No, we're not. So we need some more oxide to create more fuel. And I have a ton, I said tons of oxide, I don't have tons of oxide, but I have some oxide in here from before I set it up to um, send it outside. And the easiest way is just to go around here and dump it in. Oh, Amy, you're back. Hello. Oh, I forgot a storm came back. I've Turned you off, didn't I? Let me open your door. Turn you back on. Is 
It's off again. I found it inside my building again for some reason. Sheep's getting lost every now and then. Right. Anyway. Back to the rocket. I'm dragging this on long enough. So, we have a communication with the rocket. Um, we have umbilicals, which you can see there. Um, I should probably put some... I'm going to put some lights on the tower so I can see when they're extended. If... Um, I'm going to stop the fueling. So that pressure will start to drop slowly due to the cooling down. I'm going to retract the umbilicals. I'm going to quickly have at 5 in case this goes horribly wrong. Open up this. So, map. I want to go to Mars. We're currently Mars orbit. We're currently on Mars, which is what this is down here. I want to go to Mars orbit. So, set destination. Go back to the rocket. Um, there's various landing modes. Optimal mode, use the minimum amount of fuel. My chance of survival are very low. Medium, starts burning at 40 kilometers. My chance of survival are pretty. Still pretty low. If I do it at 70 kilometers, it's comes up to high. Um, and if I start burning at 120 kilometers, it goes up a bit higher. Now, what this means is um, there's a good chance I'll run out of fuel before I come back, or something will go wrong, and I'll crash my rocket, which is why I saved it. Um, currently, I have 900 and uh, 9,500 moles of oxidizer and 19,000 moles of uh, volatiles. Um, don't need a scanner at the moment. Don't need cargo storage on. Don't need the rocket miner on. Because we're just sat in the launch pad. Now, if I want to launch, just be... Okay, there's a rocket. Reason I put a nice window up here so I can see what's going on. Click on here. Go to the gas engine. Turn it on. And there we go. Our rocket has just launched. And it's a dot in the distance now. Boom, gone. Let's go back to the UI. So what we can see here is we have um, our current ground velocity. What the ground velocity needs to be to reach orbit. Um, ETA till we reach orbit. How much fuel we've got? So we need 82 seconds to reach hydration critical. 80 seconds to reach orbit, and we've got 762 seconds worth of fuel on board. So we will reach orbit fairly easily. Right. Well, let's go and reach orbit. I'm going to go and get a drink. Head back out to our launch pad. I need to put some beacons up here for a storm coming because I can't actually see when I'm up here. The storm coming or not? Um, let's just take a look at our um, launch mount. There's no damage there. There's no damage to the piping or anything. They're all okay. Let's come back in here. These are bits I didn't need, by the way. Um, go back to the, uh, the UI, and we're now in orbit. So if I click on map, you can see that we are in orbit. Uh, location, what can I do in this location? Not a lot at the moment. I need to turn on a rocket scanner. Can I scan now? Chart. So every time I run up to 100%, I get 30 points. At the minute, I need 100 to discover something. So I'll have to do that three times, so I'll fast forward at this point. Actually, what this is saying is there's one thing to discover up here. And that's how many points of um, scanning we've done. And that's how many points of scanning we need to make a discovery. It does change depending on location. So 90, so next time this goes up, I will discover what is here. So you see there's nothing there. At the moment, it's just question marks. Boom, there we go. So, first thing I want to do is turn my scanner off. So, I want to save energy and come back to this. And it's Phobos. 
Um, distance is 15 point, sorry, 151 delta V uh, to charge it. So if I go back to my map, I can now select Phobos. Um, there's nothing else I can do here. I've done everything I can in this location. So map Phobos, set destination. Rocket. Can I move that up? No, I can't. I can store it though, can't I? There we go. That's what I want to do. Store it. So it's always at the top. Turn the rocket on. Uh, it's 40 seconds away, and I've still got 682 seconds of fuel. And what you can see straight away is there's four places from Phobos that we can um, investigate. Last few seconds. Boom, we're now in Phobos location. So I don't actually know if I need to turn the scanner on, it just turns on automatically. So there's four things to investigate here. And it take 400 each to start charting. No, I do need to turn my um, scanner on. There we go. And that's now running. I see something was the sun coming up. Uh, my battery's flat, so I need to go and change my battery and my light. It gets further and further away. Um, that's that one done. My suit battery is 56. I'll swap that one out. Um, my scanner zero on your. I'll swap that one with something. Swap that one out. Hand drill is 21. That one needs swapping out. How's our tablet doing? 75. That's okay for the moment. Let's go and have another look at our rocket, see if it's reached its destination yet. Uh, well, finished scanning its destination, no it hasn't, so it has scanned 120, so it's not... Oh! It's found Demios. Demos? Demos. Ah, uh, it's total points, I think. So it's 100 per item, total 400. So, so this time it's found some frozen vapors and they are delta of 40.3 where that one's 202 so this one should be able to easy to get to uh, you need to keep checking your battery power and things like that make sure that's all good which it is go to our map you can see we found the frozen frozen vapors here and this one we should find some more uh, metallic field 40.3 so let's have a look at the map again so that's here let this run just let's finish scanning this whole area make sure our battery's okay 91 percent yeah it's good and there we go we finished scanning this area so we found a rock, rocky asteroid metallic field and frozen vapors as well as deimos so we've got the map there deimos there's the uh, metallic field, there's a rocky asteroid, and there's the frozen vapors. The frozen vapors are obviously going to be ices. We don't have an ice miner on the rocket. I think you have to have a separate ice miner. I'll have to check that. Uh, for now, it's just got metallic field. Set that as destination. And rocket scanner off, engine on. And that's 10 seconds away, so it's not far. And we've still got 600 minute, uh, seconds worth of fuel remaining. There we go, reach the destination. Scanner on. Um, there's nine things to discover here. So this time, it, the discovery. So that's chart, which is that one. And uh, that's discover...
So we've got a silver deposit, nickel deposit, and lead deposit. And you can see the size silver pot. The, well, they're all two to three in size, all three to five density, and all one to four richness with a 0 0.15 yield. So let's just wait until this goes up till the first one. You don't have to sit much, just you can't be doing things in the background. So we discovered something, um, and that's it. If I scroll in, this is what we've discovered a silver deposit. So if I go back to location and just for the sake of showing you, yeah, we'll just stop the scanning for the time being. So let's stop that. Uh, we will set our destination to this silver deposit. Rocket, pump gas feed on, and it's 26 seconds away. If you look at the map, you see a rocket flying there. Last few seconds. And we're there. How are we doing for power? 87%. That's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel that. Yeah, if you, you've got to double click that to confirm it. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> Location. So there's something here we now we need to survey it. But I've turned the surveyor uh, the scanner off to so turn that back on. And again we need 100 points to scan the area. So we'll just wait till that's done. So the first bar has given us 30% survey, which means as uh, 10% composition, 30% size. Which is what this is here, so it's gone from this will increase now as the percentage goes up. At 60, it's 60% density. So that's this one here. When I get anything for 90, it'll be when it goes through the second time. We'll get the richness. And there you go, we've done 100% scanning now. So we now know it's a density of 3.19, richness 2.54, size 2.62. And composition 0.2 grams of silver. If we leave this running, if we hit 200, that's 10% uh, boost to that. And if you let it run up to 1000%, you get a 25%. But we don't need to do that for the minute. Again, just for the sake of um, showing it, I'll stop that there. Um, site discovery is nothing, nothing. So what I can do now is go back to rocket, cargo small on, rocket miner on, 85% location. There we go on mining now. Estimated on location 3000, total on mined at location 24. So we're mining 24 silver each time, uh, 12 silver each time. So just set us to an up, about 12 silver each time. It's now 11. Let's see, the more you mine, the less you get. 46, so we can stop the miner at any time. stop it there now so let's stop the miner and we turn the storage compared off as well because we're not doing anything with it it's just holding the storage right so now you want to get your rocket back you don't have to fly to there then fly to there then fly to there then fly to here you can click on any one of these and it will set that as a destination yeah, and let's just go back to Mars orbit as a destination and turn our pump on, and it is 80 seconds away. But this is the next location, so it's actually telling you how far it is to the next thing on the map. So it is going to go back that way, but you don't need to have to pick each of them individually. It will just set the route for you. And that's kind of how you mine with a rocket. You go out, investigate, investigate each of these nodes. I think this one takes you off to another you can use it to go to another planet um, and start all over again but otherwise you, you investigate these locations each of these locations you investigate but you get down to a point where you've got um, nodes or yeah nodes effectively of ore in space you mine it and then you bring your rocket back so we've still got 556 seconds of fuel so we'll have about 530, just under 530, when the rocket is in Mars orbit.
I know I just sat watching this, but again, like I said, you don't need to watch it. You can just uh, set it going and go away and do something else, and it will automate it. Now, this is the tricky bit. Um, as I said before, I could set it at 25, but the chance of my flying landing are, are fairly slim. With uh, 120, what does that tell me? Um, a minimum of 9.56 kN of engine thrust is required to land successfully from 120 kilometers away. Um, just because I'm a cautious chap, I'm going to save. And then I'm going to, boom, let's see how long, how much. Oh, 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 no, turn that off, turn off. I haven't set a destination. Set a destination. There we go. Right. <laughs> now turn that on. And I need 190, 220, 273. As long as that number stays bigger than that number, we're okay. Sorry, as long as that number stays smaller than that number, we should be okay. Now it's saying it's going to take six. Sorry, nearly 10 minutes to return from that height. So what are we doing? Are we coming down? Okay, let's leave that for the moment. Uh, we're going to do a few bits. Let's go and get some shoots printed. And then we'll come back and look at that in a second. And there's another 300 grams of iron. It's 10 shoots. How are we doing with the time? 4.20, so that's okay. Still plenty of time to uh, run the shoots down. We need the shoots here going. Like so. Let's bring it along here. They never go very far, these shoots. And the same with the cabling, I guess. Okay, so we've got enough to bring us back to here. Right, how are we doing for time now? Turned in sixty seconds. That's the reason I did that. Um, if I've got time to connect this all into, I probably not got time to connect this all in. I want the items to just drop down by the fuel farm there. Otherwise, they'll be shooting out across the landscape. Uh, 
180 seconds or three minutes. Let's be close. Oh, there we go. Right, so that at least everything will come down into here. I might change this around and bring it down underneath this bit. I don't know yet. Um, along and down and down. Um, Yeah, yeah. It's not that critical. Ooh, wrong one. Wrong way. I must be getting close to time for my rocket landing. Nothing in the sky yet. One minute. Okay, let's just keep an eye on it now. 34, 33, 32, 31. Probability of landing is very high. Oh, to see it. Yep, yeah, there it is. There's a rocket coming back. And I was going to land successfully. I was going to blow my landing pad apart. Coming in nice and gently. And we're down. Look at that. Right, let's go and see. No damage, no damage. Okay, so before I connect the umbilicals, I want to run this into the rest of the system. If I have enough umbilicals. Shoot, sorry. And if I can hit the bloody hole. Come on! What on earth's going on? There we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm not going to have enough, am I? No! So I can take these out of here. I don't need these just here. Thought I'd have enough then. Oh, I 
think 30 is more than enough. Right. I need to... I'm trying to think where's the best place to tie it in. Maybe here. Let's... Take you out. And I need a junction. Like so. Oh, they're windows. Okay, it doesn't matter. I've got enough. Junction, valve, overflow, inlet, outlet, straight. And this should be the last one. So now anything coming down should come down around here, around here, into my sorting system. That's all connected up. Yeah, that's all connected up to there. That's all connected up around there. Okay. So let me just go UI. Cargo storage on. Umbilicals connect. Can you see storage on here? It does it show you storage? Alright, well, while that's doing that, let's turn you on and start refueling it. Did anything come through? I don't know. It was silver that we were mining, so I don't know how much silver I had. Count to 13. Well, guys, anyway, that is the way you use your rocket. <laughs> I'm going to have to play around and see if I can work out if that ejected everything or not. I think it did, but I just... There's no easy way for me to tell at the moment. I, I thought it told you on here if there was anything in there, but it's got a zero import count and zero export count. I think it did. Um, I'm going to assume it did. So... Um, we're getting very little fuel in there now because I've got no... Let's turn that off. I've got no... Um, you know what? I'll turn all that off and just save all the power from up here. I've got no fuel. Which one you use? Empty. You, I need oxide. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, I'm going to go and get some more oxide um, to refuel my rockets, uh, and then we will have another go next time. And what I'm going to do as well is put some windows in. Actually, let's just do that now. I've got the bloody things on me, so we can see if anything's coming down here when we. Um, Connect the umbilicals. Air tank low. Um, window. There we go. So we should be able to see anything coming down here. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe. Uh, please leave me a comment below. Um, I do have a Patreon page if you'd like to support me more long term. Uh, if not, don't worry about it. And I will catch you next time. Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.